Hello. Now that we're done with Five Step Steve, I think it's time to get back to Analogical Enigmas uh, with number six. Uh, this one looks interesting. It's symmetrical. Um, oh yeah, as usual. If you want to do it first, well, it doesn't help if I scribble it out. If you want to do this before I do it, um, go to this website, uh, download it, try it for yourself. All right, um, so Analogical Enigma number six. Gentle patron, I feel certain that you share my great joy that spring is upon us at last, that the long depressing darkness of winter is finally waning, with each successive day noticeably brighter than the one before. Ah, for this wondrous life-giving light. In celebration of this brilliant rebirth, my new enigma centers entirely around enlightening every isolated corner of our grid. Please place lights represented by circles on some of the white grid spaces such that every white square receives the beam of one or more lights. Okay, so a light gets placed and it casts beams in each direction. Cool. Uh, in our grid, light beams represented by lines travel only horizontally and vertically, and they are completely blocked by black squares. A square containing a light is considered to be lit itself by that very light. There are two limitations, however, on your placement of the lights. First, any black square containing a number must have exactly that many lights placed on horizontally or vertically adjacent white squares. Adjacent. Okay. So a one has to have one directly adjacent to it, and two has two directly. Z zero has none. Okay. Cool. Uh, second, but equally important, you must not place any light such that its beams reach any other light. Okay, so they never cast light onto each other. Good to know. Once you've placed all of the lights, you can move on to finding the final answer to Enigma. Each circle representing a light can now be seen to emphasize the letter occupying the same white square. Please read those letters in normal left to right, top to bottom order, and they should yield a clue. Okay. In this enigma, that clue comes from a longer work. Be so good as to identify and then complete the extract for your answer. Interesting. Will I know it? Maybe not. Uh, so this is one, I don't think I ever did this one. I remember getting really stuck immediately. Uh, so that's not, that's not looking good. Um, I guess I'll, yeah. Let's look at the example and see what they've done because I mean, I get that you know there aren't any around a zero and this might be useful. I might do the same thing, just scribble in the ones that I know there isn't a light in and then draw a sickle in the ones that definitely do. But then how have they worked out these two? So they know there's got to be two next to that square. Then why couldn't it be those two? Why would that be an issue? Or those two? Why does it have to be those two? There's a one there, but then that one could be one of these two, and then that two could be those two. So somehow they know it's not this one. Uh, what was the second rule? The second rule is that they can't, the beam can't reach any other light. Okay, so if, so this is a two, and so this must have either that one or that one filled in. And if it were, like a light must be there, and if it were, let's say the light were there next to this, then neither that nor that could be a light, so in fact you couldn't reach a two. And if it were there, that can't be a light. In, in both of those situations, that can't be a light, so therefore it must be those two. Okay. How do they know that's not a light? Which I think is what is meant by that circle, the, like the filled circle. How do they know? Yeah, why not? Oh, because... Wait, okay, so necessarily after this, those two have to be lights, in which case that's not, and that's not, and that's not, okay. Cool, let's just let's see what we can do. Yeah, with the symmetrical. Interesting. And has an actual sentence in it. When biographers were men, these penguins sang a sad tune of hot meows. 
and through re repenting a base a based a based many bountifuls mercs mom bombard bombard bombarded each in what <laughs> each eager eagle and tried to show how low a uh, snowed snow uh snowed in convict must fall ask every struggling lady to trek they just set a random sentence doesn't seem to make any sense to me anyway uh okay so we know this is not uh what's the best way to do this should i keep switching color that'll be annoying uh i guess i'll just do this those are not lights and neither are these I need it to be bigger than whatever line i draw through it that's the only requirement uh let's just mark off all these zeros zero 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 there's another one up there I think that might be it. Cool. Hmm. Now to begin. Uh okay, so this is a two. And one oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, this is gonna be horrible. Uh, it's not obvious to me where to begin. Are there any fours? Are there any th or any like? Are there any squares where the number is exactly the number of squares next to it? Uh, that's three. Three. These are four. Uh, nope, 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 that's four, that's four, great. If this three had one there, the light there, then this three must not have one there, in which case that one would have to be blank, and that would have to be a light, and that would have to be a light. Mm, yep, so what? <laughs> oh man, this is hard. To even begin. That doesn't have one. Mm. Two. If there was one here, and there couldn't be one there. And there couldn't be one there. So this one would have to go here. Sure. <laughs> that would be fine. And that one would have to go there. What about the corners? 
So like that can't be reached by a light there, so it'd have to be a light somewhere along here. Are there only lights where the numbers are? Oh, it doesn't say that. But I think that's probably true. It's true in this, right? Yeah, I think that's... Oh, no, it's not. Ah, uh, okay. There might be lights elsewhere. Hmm. I was tempted to just make that assumption because in previous ones... There were things that I wasn't sure whether they were technically required by the puzzle and they weren't written in the description. Um, and then it turned out it, it, like, turned out the puzzle did meet that criteria at the answer, but in this case, apparently not. Uh, so there's two, let's figure something out. Um, Okay, hold on. So this two, it comes to be one of those three. If it were there, if this were there, then this couldn't be one and this couldn't be one. Right. So therefore, that would have to be one. In fact, that would have to be that and that. Uh, so that that one's not true. That would have to be that and that, and this and uh, this two would need an, another one in either of these two places. That's fine. <laughs> Similarly, if I went here, the same kind of pattern happens. Just flipped over. Hmm. I mean, these two could share one as well, as in share two, sorry. It could be here and here. Where do I begin? If there was a light there, then there couldn't be one there, there would have to be one there. Sure. If there was one there, then there couldn't be one there, and there would have to be one there, that would be fine as well, right? That would cover all of those spaces. This could get covered somewhere else by a light down here, maybe. Where on earth do I start this? How did they figure it out up here? Wait, I could zoom in a bit more, couldn't I? Could I? Yes, that's better. Um, they could cut that one out because it would mean that one was impossible. That we, I need to find a solution like that. Solution, a you know, a, a bit of progress like that. Um, okay, what about this two? If I put a light here, it would mean, I sort of need two twos that are very close to each other, like this, but that one's got so many spaces around it. Like, that's fine because the two twos could just go there, 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 and wherever, they're all there.
threes. Okay, hold on. So let's say those two were both covered. That would make that one impossible. Yes. So only one of those is covered. Therefore, one of those is empty. And so these two must be filled. Is that true? Okay. That and that. Cannot both be there because they couldn't, they couldn't put one here and one here. Well, I couldn't put one in either of those places. I could only put them there and there, so I could only get two. It needs three. And, and, so that means one of those two has to be empty. Therefore, those two have lights. I think that's correct. I am making some progress. Oh no, it's not getting, it's not super obvious what's a light and what's not. Big circles, big circles. There we go. That works. Okay, cool. That's something. Uh, so this one definitely doesn't go there, but it could go either there or there. Oh, but these need to be lit. Yeah, but there could just be one there. Hmm. Okay, what next? So one of these two is lit. Depending on which one affects this. If that one's a light, then that one can't be, so it's these three. Oh, in which case, the same is true here, right? One of those two must be empty. Yes. Uh, so these two are definitely lit. Cool. Aha. Oh, no. I'll tell you what I'm thinking in a second when I finish doing this. Uh, I thought, yeah, yes. Uh, so wait, I can't put a light there or a light there, so it has to go there. Right. Oh, I'm still a bit, bit bigger. Cool. That one could go anywhere around there. That one is either in one of those two places. Cross out the numbers I've done, maybe. Is it only that one? Yeah, because they're incomplete. Well, I guess in the sense the zeros are done. Mm, I shouldn't cross them out, I think. Yeah, I can see. I can see when things are done quite easily. Okay, so these need to be lit. There could be one there. Or there. No, okay, if there's a light there. Okay, well, hold on, let me. So there's definitely not one there, there's definitely not one there because it would be lit. Uh, and then there's two spaces it can go in. If it went there, it would mean I couldn't place a light there and there. So therefore, these two would have to be completed on the same line, and that's invalid. So it doesn't go there goes here. It's necessary to have one here, right? Because I need to light up this space. Yep. Cool. Still don't know which way around these two go. It's either there and there or there and there. Can I narrow that down right now? Hmm. Let's see how. No. Progress is happening though, this is good. Just what next? I'm not going to be able to see the letters that I meant to read at the end. 
guess I can make it transparent when I get there. All right, uh, can I figure out anything down here? That needs to be lit by something, either by a light on itself or light here. If it were there, that one would have to go up here. That's fine. Don't see an issue with that. How can I choose out of these two spaces? Hmm. All these. Uh. I've got to be able to figure out something around here. If that one were lit, if that one were a light, sorry. I would go all the way up there, across there, down here. So therefore that one would have to go there, I would go all the way across there, and up there. Nothing wrong with that. Hmm. What about this one, maybe? So it could go there. Which would light in both of those directions. Which seems fine to me. Could go there. Which would light these directions. That one would have to go in one of those two places. That's fine. That would decide that too. That, that two would have to go there and there, also fine. Oh, but no. Okay, step back. If this one goes here, then it casts down. That two has to go there and there, which would cast into this space and this space, which means this two can't be finished. Cool. So, it's that one. Yeah. There we go. Does that help me with anything else? Well, I know that's not a thing now. Oh, can I do that anywhere else? Uh, no. Cool. So these need to be lit at some point. That E needs to be lit. Could be itself, could be there, could be there. But there's two. These twos must interact in an interesting way, surely. Oh yeah, of course. These can't both be filled, as we've just determined. Same on the other side. That can't both be filled. Because it would make that impossible. Therefore, that is necessarily filled. And one of those two is not. It's the same logic as the three, just with a two instead. Right, and so that is also necessarily filled, because it can't be both of those two. One of those two, but not both. Yep. Cool.
happy with that. Aha! So that's one. Okay, this is going well. This is going very well. I hope. Uh, that's not anything. That's not anything. Because that one's already complete. Does this help me over here? So that one is either there or there. So these two ones decide each other. It's either here and here, or the M and the T. S and T or M and T. Oh, and either way, that means that two would not be able to put A like there. Because one of those ones has to do it. Therefore... Two is like that. I remember last time I did this, I made absolutely no progress at all. It was like, I found it extremely difficult to even get started. I guess I found it difficult this time as well, but once I got going, that was it. Uh, once the ball was rolling, is that that? I think so. Uh, cool, now what? That one's either there or there. It can't be there though, because that would mean the two couldn't, oh no, it could be, and the two would finish there. Ah, but then that two would have to finish there. Let me step through that. So this one, if it were here, this two would have to be here to make the two, and then this two would have to be here, but that would clash with that. Yeah, there's no no place I could put that that wouldn't clash with this two or this one. So it doesn't go there, it goes there. Ah, right, circle it. So that's not a light. In fact, does that mean none of these are lights? If any of these were lights, if there was a beam being cast up here, then that one would have to be a light, and that one would have to be a light, and that would clash. Yeah, so none of these are lights. That's cool. That's not a light. Wait, does that mean that's not a light? No, because that wouldn't, it wouldn't clash with itself, okay. Oh, but if that's not a light, oh, hold on, is that true? That one could be a light, and then that one would be. Yeah, so it's not none of them, it's just the ones that are not next to the two, the twos. So none of those are lights. It would force that to go there, and that to go there, yeah. If that one was a light, and that could go there, that'd be fine. If that one were light, that could go there. Yep. Good to know though. Uh, now where? Well, these two is a light. Oh, it can't be that one though because that would make two of these not viable, and therefore I couldn't do the two, so it's that one. Sweet. That's definitely not. Uh, so that one, ah, a bit bigger. And that one. Sweet. Mm. Where next? Oh, wait, that one has to go there.
Therefore, this one has to go here. This is all falling into place very quickly. This whole thing's done. Not bad. Um, now what? 